So a couple of things that I'm working on lately. These are the two ignition coils uh, from that 1975 40 horsepower Evan Rude on Steve's Boston Whaler. And, um, you know, back when I did the rebuild on that engine, everything seemed to be working very well. And then recently, uh, Steve and I just got it off of that bracket and remounted it to the boat, got all that done, and uh, put it in a bucket of water, went to fire it up, and it started up, and then it wasn't running very well, and then it kind of quit, and we couldn't get it going again, and it seemed like we weren't getting any spark to the spark plugs. And uh, so I tried, uh, you know, resetting the gaps in the points, and... Um, it tried to start a couple times and then as we did a little more investigating we found that we were only getting spark to the top cylinder. So, uh, flipped the coils around and seemed to be about the same. So did a little bit more reading on how to test these coils and what to check for and everything and really narrowed it down to these coils and if, if we come in a little closer to these um, coils you can see there is a bit of a hairline crack on these and uh, even on this one right here if you look at that you can see that and some goo and stuff that's been leaking out of these and then uh, actually when I went to pick this up and just move fiddle with this wire and this is actually the coil that was giving us some spark but you can see that the uh, spark plug wire just came right off of that thing it just fell right off in my hand so um, so we ordered a couple new coils today for that and we'll uh, do a little video of us putting that back on um, back on to the uh, onto that outboard and this is the one we're, that we're looking at here this is the 1962 3 horsepower Johnson and uh, I did a rebuild of this started it up and it seems to run pretty well but as I mentioned before uh, having a really hard time getting a lot of low end uh, RPMs out of this so you know when as you slide that handle around um, it works great in the start position up into the fast although not as fast as it should and um, getting good spark off both spark plugs and I put a spark tester on it, it seems to run really really well but if I move that um, lever from the magneto the little slide there anywhere to the left of the start position it really conks out no matter how you adjust those needle valves uh, there are those two red levers so I got to thinking and I asked around online you know what what can I do to get a little bit uh, more power as well as you know get that low idle and he's uh, one of the guys in particular I think it's Chrysler Outboard a uh, guy that works on Chrysler Outboards I'll try and get his name here um, because he suggested you know check the compression and so I did I went out and got a I had some birthday money to spend and so I went to Harbor Freight Tools and one of the things that I got was a compression tester so that's this kit right here it was around twenty dollars and I put that on here and lo and behold if you take a look at this let me see if I can tilt this up um, this top cylinder zero compression and about you know a little less than sixty on the lower uh, piston so what that tells us is that only the bottom piston, uh, only that bottom was one was actually uh, firing and, and actually working. So this thing was running on one cylinder, which is pretty amazing that it could do that. Um, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to tear the head off of this and uh, check it out. Maybe I just need a new gasket. I don't know what. It could be that those... Uh, pistons uh, and the rings are all gummed up. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, and so I'm going to give them a good cleaning and see if that doesn't help us out. I know if you know these things go bad, there's not a whole lot you can do other than replace the power head on these things. So anyway, that's where this one lies. So kind of a little bit back to the drawing board, kind of like a glacier, three steps forward, two steps back. So. Anyway, that's an update on a couple of these uh, projects. A little extended version for this, so keeping my fingers crossed to see if I can't get this going, um, firing on both cylinders. The magnetos were great. Uh, I mean, as far as the coils, so getting good spark, good fire to them. 
just no compression.